All right, guys, we have the fourth hard request up today on the 2018 list. It's a song I grew up with, with as a kid. <clears throat> Love Lift Us Up Where We Belong, Joe Cocker, Jennifer Warnes. Great song, great piano song from the 80s. So let's take a listen here. Let me try again. Cocker comes in there, you know, singing his lighter style, <laughs> but a very nice song. Hello, everyone. I'm Sean Cheek, and welcome to my easy piano lessons. I try to make it as easy as possible for those of us who just want to play by ear uh, instead of reading notes. So here we go. This is going to be the part one that we do here, and the rest of the lessons for this, as well as thousands and thousands of other lessons I've made over the past 11, 12 years will be on my website, webpianoteacher.com. You can find it in the link in the description, webpianoteacher.com. Something on there for everyone, even if you are a complete beginner. I have 50 very beginner piano lessons for you to get started so you can get used to my method and get going. <clears throat> but uh, here we go with this part one. <clears throat> and uh, let's try it. D and E in the right hand. It, there's a lot of little brum brum little flips that we're gonna do, and this is we start out with one D and E to F sharp in the key of D. Start out with left hand on D and A, so we have just a little flip. Now notice the D on the left hand stays on the bottom. That's called a pedal note. It's just gonna stay. We're gonna move the rest of the chord up to a G chord. We started with a D chord. Now we're going to do D and G on the right with D and B on the left. Move it up some more for some dissonance. Hear that? It's a very 80s thing to do. D and A on the right, left hand D and C sharp. Now a little flip again. We'll flip A to B. There's two Ds on the left hand. If you'd like, you could play that lower D with the right hand. It's okay to do that, uh, whichever way you want to do it. Next one, we go back from where we came from whence we came, and then we go down again to where we were uh, on the G chord. So the beginning, dun, two. At the end we have D, C sharp, D, da, 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 da. We'll lead to that, so five, four, five. And listen to the rhythm and go. One, two. I don't always put my boxes right where measures start and end. I kind of, I just where I feel like it at the time. <laughs> so um, here we're going to have D and G, next measure. On the right, left hand, I'll have D and B flat. And that's a G minor, if you wanted to know. G minor chord. We're going to continue holding that D on the pedal, uh, the pedal note, while we change the other notes. But we want to keep that pinky down because the pedal can't hold it because we've got to change the pedal so that those two notes those notes don't blur that follow a b flat a g the right hand g f sharp e so one dun dun da da dun so dun da da and then f sharp g f sharp it's kind of fast so when we get there it's d f sharp on the right d a on the left now uh, we'll go one two Ba, ba, ba. Well, these are syncopated, which means we're accenting off beats, which is common in pop music. One, two. So you can go after you say two. One, two. Up, up, back down, and back there. And these chords we don't need to talk about because we've done them over here. Uh, next measure. So D and F sharp to G, flip it. Left hand will have D and B. One, two, da, da, da. Then we have that D, C sharp, D thing again. One more little part here, and then we'll tie some of this together. Da, 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 dun, ta, da. So this is G and B flat together. I'm playing one and three. And then I'll go F sharp A to E G with two four to one three left hand on the D octave. 
All right, so let's go from the very beginning. I'll slow it down just a hair so we can uh, hear the rhythms. And go. Two. So just use your pedal to connect there. And um, then we start the singing. And we have, who knows what tomorrow brings. Now, I'll go ahead and mention the notes that are small in a smaller text <clears throat> are, no, are things that you can do on the repeat because there's going to be some repeating in this. But it's not really that much different. There are just a few little things the piano does. And that's why I wrote them in the smaller text. And you can do those on the repeat if you so choose to, you know, play it differently on the repeat. Some people just want to learn it the first way and play it that way every time. That's fine. But So that's what it means. So we're going to ignore the small text this first time through. So singing starts here. D and F sharp on the right. Left hand on D and A. One, two, dun, dun. Remember that from here? So it's... And then little flip here on the repeat. I know I said don't worry about that yet. The first time it's just this. Maybe the person does a little flip there the first time, but I just don't hear it so slight. So that's up to you when you want to do that. But anywhere, D and G, D and B on the left. One, two, da, da, da. So F sharp, G, D, E, flip. Left hand does D and B flat there. Okay, so let's start here. Go. F sharp, E, then D and F sharp, left hand back on D and A, and it's always counting to two, isn't it? It's one, two, bum, bum. and then that's a little different there. Let's look at that. C sharp, D with four, five. Let me play the D octave while the left hand does D, B. Now, this time we're going to go up high. Isn't that pretty? So we're just going to move up an octave. D, C sharp, D, G, B flat. F sharp A, E, G, just like we did before. Left hand on D, B flat, except we're up high here with the right hand. And then Joe comes in here. All right. So D and F sharp. But we're going to flip the F sharp. D and A on the left hand. Then bum, bum, chords we know. Chords we know. Did that right there, so we know that. Na, na. We know that too, except there's a flip on the F sharp. So we'll go E to F sharp action getting up to the F sharp da, da, da. now right here it's different one two three isn't that cool na, na, na. Now, that's kind of difficult technically if it's too hard for you I'll try to slim it down a little bit and still have the fun okay we'll do that and then all I'm doing is leaving out the bottom note if it's just too hard to do this for you and it's really the keyboard in there there's a piano and there's a keyboard so kind of sometimes I'll meld those two together because they both have cool parts. And I try to take the best of each part so that you get a really good rendition for your piano solo. Okay, so mixing it all together for you. Da -da -da. Let's look at it. But you got to count to three. You go one, two, three. Ma -ma -ma. So the counts are elongated there. I don't know how they write out the measures in the sheet music, but just make sure you count to three. One, two, three. Then we have D, F sharp, B, D. One, two, four, five. Slide it on down a half step to D flat, F, B flat, D flat. Slide it on down a half step to C, E, A, C. Now just work on this. Bum, bum, bum. Little high wrist. Da, da, da. Just place like that. So you go one, two, three. Da, da, da. A little bit more punch there. And the left hand will go bum, with that, uh, you know, E, F sharp, low. Da, da, da. And then <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do here uh, is save this for part two. Let's kind of wrap up what we've done, okay? So let's start at the very beginning. We'll go all the way through kind of slow to this point, okay? Very beginning, intro, one, two, three. Start. 
hearts who knows what tomorrow brings one two four up high joe cocker back low start right there in the part two okay so I gave you a whole lot on the part one and hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you on webpianoteacher.com and we'll finish it talk to you later